Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease, also known as CJD, is a rapidly progressive and fatal neurodegenerative disease. The most common form of human transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, more commonly referred to as prion diseases, Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease is rare, affecting 1 in 1 million people annually. Due to its rapid progression, death usually occurs within a year of diagnosis. CJD causes unique changes in brain tissue, resulting in sponge-like holes attributed to the death of cells in the brain. The body is filled with proteins, long chains of amino acids that fold together and help our cells function. Preomes are a form of protein which are found in all healthy humans and animals. However, they are most abundantly found in nervous tissue. The normal form of preome proteins are known as PRPCs. Abnormal preome proteins, PRPSCs, are misfolded and transmit their misfoldings to normal preome proteins, forming clumps of abnormal protein within brain tissue. It is the clumping of these abnormal proteins that cause the cells in the brain to die and result in brain damage. Initially, symptoms of CJD are similar to Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases. However, rapid progression is the key indicator of CJD. CJD is characterized by two main symptoms, mental deterioration and involuntary muscle jerking, known as myoclonus. However, a number of other symptoms may be present. Early signs of CJD include impaired memory or thinking, personality changes or unusual behavior, insomnia, depression, hallucinations, and dizziness. As the disease progresses, patients may experience ataxia, which is a loss of physical coordination. This can affect a wide range of functions, such as walking and balance. Dysphagia, a difficulty swallowing, can occur. Many patients require a feeding tube if they experience dysphagia. Blindness and loss of speech are also seen. Pneumonia, infection, and coma are common in advanced stages of illness. It is these factors that usually result in the death of CJD patients. CJD is not an airborne disease, meaning it cannot be spread through coughing or sneezing. Similarly, it cannot be spread through touch or sexual contact. CJD can develop in multiple ways, with varying subtypes to account for these differences. There are multiple subtypes of CJD, sporadic, familial, and acquired. Sporadic CJD is the most common, accounting for 90% of all cases. It is the most aggressive form of CJD and has a mean onset of 60 to 65 years of age. There is no known cause of sporadic CJD. Familial CJD accounts for 5 to 10% of all cases. It is hereditary and is autosomal dominant, meaning only one copy of the mutated gene is required to develop the disease. The presence of a mutated preome protein gene disrupts the formation of normal preome proteins and can produce abnormal preome misfoldings in brain tissue. Familial CJD typically develops at a younger age, appearing as early as 20 to 40 years of age. However, the duration of illness is usually longer than seen with sporadic subtypes. Iatrogenic CJD is a form of acquired CJD, accounting for fewer than 1% of cases. Iatrogenic CJD can be transmitted through exposure to infected medical equipment or brain tissue. Numerous safety protocols are in place to prevent the transmission of iatrogenic CJD, such as destroying surgical equipment that may have had contact with CJD-infected tissues. Due to these precautions, iatrogenic CJD has become quite rare. Variant CJD is also increasingly rare, accounting for fewer than 1% of cases. It is acquired through the consumption of cattle meat, which has been affected by a similar disease, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, commonly referred to as mad cow disease. After foodborne exposure, the disease can have an incubation period of up to 10 years, meaning it may take years after an exposure to show symptoms of the disease. CJD can only be definitively diagnosed by biopsy or by autopsy after the patient has died. If CJD is suspected, the first step is to rule out the presence of any other neurodegenerative diseases. Various neuroimaging techniques are used to identify CJD, such as electroencephalogram EEG, and magnetic resonance imaging MRI. Cerebrospinal fluid CSF, testing is currently the most effective form of diagnosis. The presence of 1433 proteins or mutated preome proteins in the CSF often results in a CJD diagnosis. Unfortunately, CJD is always fatal, 
there is no cure for the disease, but patients are treated with medications to ease symptoms. Pain medications are often administered, as well as anticonvulsants and muscle relaxers to manage muscle jerks. In advanced stages of the disease, patients typically receive intravenous fluid and are tube fed, as the severity of their symptoms makes it difficult, if not impossible, to feed themselves. Patients are made as comfortable as possible for the duration of their illness. There is promising research occurring that suggests treatment and possibly a cure for CJD may someday be possible. Scientists in the United Kingdom have developed an antibody that has the potential to target abnormal proteins and slow the progression of disease. Although, in its very early stages, this is a promising step towards a future where Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease is not the end for patients and their loved ones. The following resources are available if you or a loved one need further information, support, or guidance regarding Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease.